fast play towards it. Garnet's up, draft dash, no one clear in the corner. And Cornwell immediately capitalizes, but he is taken out. And it's a bit strained, isn't it? This fight is taking place, just trying to duck and weave and dodge inside the smokes, but a spike is rotating pretty quickly. And that's off the back of Cruz finding another important lurk. Remember how good this guy was in the opening match when he played on Haven. His omen was finding all of these timings. And Cruz has just ushered the rest of his team in to get a plant down. They're still at a disadvantage here, but it's now winnable. The smoke's just come back online, so that's going to be covering up heaven. And Cruz looks like he wants to try and take the fight to them. Still being watched for the angle, though, and anyone can win it. Ends up being EG down to that 2v4. The players really do. Fox needs to watch this angle. A couple of taps, but eventually everybody cleaned up. And it is EG who will be taking the pistol round. A lot of space being gained right now as they're trying to split up into A. Dash through, Sagan is cutting up a couple of the placement stuns as well, landing and the util at the back of the site. And well, EG just overwhelmed. Can't withstand that kind of pressure. Ethan caught with utility in his hands there. Bustio trying to get the creep yeah, out. This is contact play as well, the paranoia clears that one corner, close for them, and Bustio covers again. From the one angle in the fight trying to be taken, Sushi Boys not coming out on top. A rapid, rapid response from EG. Oh. And it's a quick play as well. There was a flash and a paranoia, and you can see the fault line on top of it. All the usual utility being used to try and push their way through. And I think that was, again, spam through the smoke, catching onto, crew, or onto BCJ, I should say. Cruz the one claiming that kill. There was a lockdown. It's a fast approach. I mean, EG looking to try and retake this one very quickly. I believe there's a player detained there in the cubby, but we'll see what more they can really do. And Jim Boys is covering the angle. The kill found a nice double peak with the rest of them as the Aftershock was pushing them out of position. But they still need to try and get this defuse going. A one-way smoke making things far too difficult for them, though, and it sets up Talon again nicely playing that long angle. Yeah, because Sushi Boys is not going to have to be quite active holding down this flank. It's a flash to re-peak. Bustio was ready for it. Wow. Dodge the flash. Really fast reactions on this one, and this could begin to get a bit more dangerous. Cruz, TP's across. Never flash it through the box, it is dodged. The smokes are starting to fall now. BCJ swinging wide with the stinger. Bit of run and gun at play, and everyone falls, collapsing to the setup of EG. Down a swarm. Set util, a gap bad in the smoke. smoke. That is a bad smoke, and it's credit on opening, but coverage was there again. Jim Boy's the rookie, just trying to help them out. A bit of a, okay, silly play almost, just wading into the smoke, and still that gap just really not helping them out in the slightest. Ethan being able to take fight after fight from that one position. Still no one's cleared him out of it. He is low, though, so Cruz returns to fire, but he is the sole player left alive now for Talon. And Jorgamo, good God, man. That is crispy. Oh. Pressure's going to be on this guy now. You can see him being swarmed from every single avenue. And finally, the U-Tilt going to start triggering it. Jorgamo's going to be covering the one angle for him. See, the dash was activated, but spam straight down and a lovely smoke to try and separate at least that he could play around. Still the players fall, and the spike will get planted at... Talon now to play this post plant. Retaken with the up, never really going to be too ideal, but there's a paranoia now. The Rolling Thunder actually off the back of that. Just a small piece of utility being used. And Jit Boys, well, the flash is just immaculate. Catching through, and it's up to BCJ. From the heaven position, does have the rifle. Needs to take a good fight, but just mistimes it. And what a round by Talon. BCJ holding close with the judge. Yeah, can he be the difference maker? He's paranoid. Not revealed just yet, still wading into the smoke. Oh, God, I mean, just uh, just spamming the common angle, I suppose. Stray bullet lands onto the cranium of BCJ, but that plan down now, these post plans. We'll see what Talon can do in it. It's fantastic ultimates for Talon. They should be winning this. And if Ethan could have got behind there, maybe he could have been the game changer for them. I just don't see how this retake is going to work. Oh, no, with Jorgamo as well retaking with this operator, I mean. The possibility is there with the angle. There is no one-way smoke, obviously. And there you go. What? Chip Switching Boy straight into this one. The aftershock, I think, maybe Chip was just playing close into the cover. And now an attempt is made, sticking to the fuse. And the flank timing by Sushi Boy is just slightly off. It's going to be that plan, and including that in the lockdown as well, to push them all the way back. And Talon are now just taking space into the other connector, pushing all the way back into it. And they might have just overextended. Overcooking the play just ever so slightly, because BCJ he had the angle watched for. And you got to respect that counter lockdown that was in play. Pushed them out of position. Jit Boys has a lineup for it with the aftershock. Jogamo not quite getting half, but it matters not. 
Watched for, and the defuse will come through. So, here we go. It's going to be a bit of a clash now onto the flank. And Commas used his null command so, so far early. Away. It's so far away, isn't it? A little bit odd. Early. Maybe anticipating that they might be trying to use the alts to try and uh, retake with, but okay. EG, they do take good fights. Eventually, Ethan helping out, swinging through double doors, but it's not going to be any sort of suppress. And now you see the alts being used. That's the rolling thunder by Jitboys to push them away from that spike. But the defuse now coming through up close and personal. It is so the stick, down the stick. scrappy, and it is just being stuck. Nothing to stop it, no sort of spam. And apparently, it's a Red Bull clutch. As we get. That stun lands on so many people. Yeah. Oh, they just want to fight it though. Straight up as a scrap in A lobby. Swinging through into short. Let's see if the shots can be found. Eventually resetting the aim a little bit there. So going for that two big, for two play. Big, flank, but big yeah, flank. Big flank already occurring. Not wasting too much time. How is Jitboys getting away with that? Again and again. Still in short. The wider swing still finding his mark. The players weak enough for it. And just trying to contest through the smokes. Talon taking that pistol around, very important. Be dropping him down quite low. Talon taking that re-swing. You can hear the footsteps, Fox. Let's get the one right behind. That's good. With the stun as well, just to try and at least help relieve that pressure that's coming out onto the site. But a pop flash play. Waiting their way through. Carnes as well, though. He can use the smokes. Bit of subterfuge of his own. Back and forth. But Talon again, just coming out on top. And he Fast play anyway, EG not messing around, are they? No command popped off. It's gonna be that C split, working their way through. Lovely flash to push that angle off Karnitz. It's a life for now, but eventually falls. There is gonna be that trade, and right from the side. Just into the corner of the side, no one clearing it. This is a dangerous task. Karnitz just trying to hold down the one angle. Dodges his teammates flash that does get them good information, but right as the dash was fading, he makes the most of it. Tom falling, but Jogamo not wasting any time, but spotted in the end. Wow. Just on that left-hand approach, taken out. Garner's managed to updraft as well. Onto this sniper perch, and my god! Rattling shot after shot. <laughs> Absolutely destructive round from Garner. BCJ does claim two, though, in the middle of all of this, so... He'd have to be on for the ace, though, Brent. Yeah, it would be a... Massive task ahead of him, and there's not much time to work with at all. Being surrounded now by the talent players who are aware of his position. And Cruz, you do not want Cruz to donate a rifle. Good God, man, Sushi Boys, and he's been punished. That was a fault line and a paranoia. Instant response, instant reaction from EG. Now going to start swarming into this side as well. Bustio, this angle that he's holding, slight off angle. Could be everything, this one. Yeah. Bustio beats Cruz, grabs the Phantom. Grabs the rifle. Oh, this was going for a really fast play. Oh, no. The shots whiffing, but eventually coming up with the kill and the goods. Jumping there with a classic right click. BCJ is rewarded. What can Jit Boys do? This guy has been a bit of a menace, but already isolating these fights. Finding two of the players, but last flash being used now. Time ticking down. One away from the ult. Fault line almost online for him. Or not quite going down just yet. And didn't anticipate the position of BCJ. And then didn't this. pay any attention to where Bustio would be. Garner has immediately okay. found a kill with the Operator too. Just peeking. I mean, there's just no slowing down, is there? Feels like round after round, and that was BCJ TPing into spawn. He's been dealt with, shorty up close, has to reload that one, Garner. He's breaking ankles out here, man, <laughs> and he's found the kill anyway. <laughs> what are we witnessing? <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, so trying to take Control subtly through A. That's a stun and a fault line, though. Reclearance. And there really just wasn't too much else off the back of that one, but still, PCJ falling now. And that's all the info. They know exactly where these players are. They've got to be Garage and B. Yeah, that's going to make it really, really difficult. In fact, all the space was taken up by Talon. They're holding this long angle. Jorgamo. Oh, he was watching it. The updraft play. Still the double face, the double swing. Util now being used forwards. There needs to be a bit more behind this one, but Cruz just leaving it and just completely unaware that there could be another player. Why not? I suppose they would have been swinging with them in the first place. And again, Ethan just trying to make a risky play, trying to swing into the spawn, but that was a full investment by EG, really. Their entirety of their team essentially towards B. And this is just looking all over the place. Util being used one after the other. But Cruz again. It's on that high ground angle, it's all going to be down to Bustio. 
And they need a miracle right now. There's 55 seconds, a lot of time to play within this round, but it's going to be almost impossible to isolate just singular fights. The spike has been dropped into such an awkward position, and this wall, so spammable, boosts you almost falling from that, down to 66 health. The reposition looks his way across, flash over the top, and he just can't quite catch the angle. 12 rounds for Talon. What a comeback, unbelievable scenes. While all this is happening, EG have managed to take a lot of control up towards a long. Is there anything to try and stop them in their tracks? A flash to push through the box. That actually is a team flash. I think mean, Jimbo's trying to again relieve that pressure, but no one has cleared this corner. A smoke to try and cut up the side Hom just trying to contact through. What a shot by Garnets. He's back in, and he's back in. He just wants to take the fight to them, disrespecting the lockdown. He's everywhere. He will be detained in the end. And locked down, out of the position, he is taken out. TP forwards, it is so scrappy. The 2v2, but now the defender's locked down. This is gonna give them a lot of space to work with. Talon, they can take their time with this one. BCJ, this is such a risky play. He's, I thought he was gonna ego it with his ult. He gets out just in time. Backs away, but this post plant needs to be perfect, and he's just trying to get on the line. It's all down to Ethan, the stun. It rocks the line, a side angle, still half under the fuse, and tries to go for the wider swing, but it is found for Talon Esports. 13-11 will be the scoreline for map number one. Beautiful comeback from the Pacific team. A lot of players vulnerable up, but a nade eventually pushes them off the angle, and Com's going to be retreating to try and help out BCJ. They've got to know that these players are here. The pop flash is just immaculate. Three players fully blind, and of course, BCJ there to capitalize. Big showcase of skills from him, claiming the third kill, and still weaving his way around that pillar, making sure he buys time for the rest of the squad to get the rotation in. Interesting that they're not giving the plants to Cruz, right? So they're actually getting the Viper roll and the Null Commander at roughly the same time. Cruz is so far away. I assume he has some lineups because there's a Viper Orb on the plant and he's got his Snake Bites. Playing for that one, Sushi Boys. Well, okay, Aftershock pushed him out of position. Still gets a kill, though. The fight taking place around the pillar. Garnet's swap of the weaponry and now there's that time pressure being applied. A nade close. All Garnet has to do is survive and he's making it so much more difficult for them. They know that the lineups are being played. It's a brief flank. Com pushes him off the angle, so he can't fire the second snake bite. A tap onto the fuse, but he's just fired it off into the air. And will there be enough time? No time. Sticking it, Ethan Wait. gets on in. The molly, well, it misses. The molly missed. It goes wide. Ethan just about gets it. Point 12 on the clock. The most important. Working with the pistols, so. Current spots that contact. Busio holding. Close behind Flowers, that could get awkward. Yeah, you can see the util being used, including Garnet's nade. But Com chooses the refight, drops down from on high, on heaven. A bit of a reflash as well, re -peak right down to it. Four bullets left in it, wants to go for it. There is the ace. Clean him up, knock him down. That's another eco round. Yeah. <laughs> Com's got his ult online, though. And this next round is going to be a massive one. Everybody is loaded with ultimates. And on split, you end up playing agents that have huge ult value. And he no command across the board, raise ult entries on both sides. A Viper post plant. There's, there is no way of knowing what's going to happen in round six. As long as he doesn't get killed going for an info peak. Well, Tom does have the ult as well. And there okay. he goes. Gets Double killed. contact re-clear. And now the no command gets popped off. Garnet's just trying to skip and hop through the choke point, trying to lead his team in. And again, the smoke causing all sorts of issues. BCJ, how's he claiming two there? The Talon eventually going to be claiming this site. Who's this time not playing? Post plant Molly position a bit further back, but will there be anything to punish this one? Well, Bustio's watching it. It's just bait. Yeah, just bait. Still the flash <laughs> repeat, and oh my word. Oh, flash over the top. Not a single player from EG could see. I feel like Ethan is just guaranteed to get a kill here. <laughs> it, look at this. I mean, it's just the judge up close on split. I don't think it's going to make a difference, though. Yeah, probably not, but. Find out anyway. Fragment nade dropped down again to the choke point. Garnet's not being denied that double satchel play. What? Doesn't know did, where the player is. Did Garnet not see? Did, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Maybe he expected him to be able to retreat back through there. Jogamo unleashing that showstopper right up into the sky. And time is running so low. Ten seconds. Will they get the plant? Pushed off of it. 
at the shock into the corner, nade into the back, and there is time still, but it needs to be right now. Need to get that plant, and it's now it's been denied. Pushed back off of it, EG. A minor event. I don't know, we've seen a lot of thrifting. <laughs> yeah, we have. Oh, there's. And okay, well, <laughs> starting things off on the similar kind of foot. And Talon do go pretty heavy in mid here. So, pistol round, round 10, the few times, oh the two boy, times boy, that we've seen second. this. Contact re clear! Okay, shots are rattled off. Cruz was allowed to get three fired. Oh, and no. And there's just contact re clearing right into the box. I mean, he's not wasting any time. Oh, All this space God. being gained, a bit of overheat potentially there. He wanted to use the Seekers, but listen, calm down, lad. Fox has just won this round on his own. Yeah. One player left standing, and that is Bustio. First obstacle removed. But, uh, yeah, it's a 1v3, and now the knife's going to be revealing that position. How do you play this one? Is there any way to play this one? I mean, doesn't seem likely, does it? Not really enough time to make usage of that lockdown, and now with that spike ticking down steadily. I mean, Bustia's still just loitering around this area, but at this point, it feels like you can only save the only percentage play. A couple of kills, I suppose, but oh my word, loses the rifle in the end. At the end of the day, I mean, there you go for those kills, just in case you need some really flashy plays, I think, for them to be able to find their way in and talk about flashy. I mean, Fox just delivers of a shot like that. Let's off the Seekers almost immediately off of it. And now you can see a bit of a split into heaven. The play is close. Satchel pushes them back and away. BCJ, he's traded. Taken out. Close in the corner. Ethan forced to take the fight into them. Still somehow comes up with the kill. The spike needs to be planted. And EG, they're not wasting time. Already dropping down from heaven. Lovely flash re-clear, but down to that 1v1. Bustio finds it in the angle. Watch once more. Immaculate crosshair placement. Save hands from him. Yeah, look at this reclear into mid, into this sewers. Is this so is incredibly aggro. aggro. I mean, what is that? Surely J-Boy should not be favored. BCJ does do a lot to contain inside the smoke. Fights being taken. And EG players looking to try and pivot into this one, but they're pivoting right into Fox. What is occurring? I mean, wow. this way, that way, a bit of indecision, but eventually they're deciding on the correct side of the map, getting that plant down into Oh, this is a. risky. This is risky. Yep. Onto the side of the smoke, and that boom bot, well, oh. it reveals everything. I do not like this, because BCJ is so far away from the rest of the team. When Bustio dies, it's actually a 3v2 on the retake. He does have the Astro Star at least to buy them a bit of time here, but he needs to get into position to, position to threaten that. Backstab angle that position, and already this push coming through Talon. What a kill for Sushi Boys to find. Karnis as well, and everybody's locked down. Plan of a heaven is just a little bit too predictable. It's important not to let any of these advantages that we handed to you just get away. And there we go, a good fight taken. Using those rifles, making sure that they're trading effectively. 50 seconds in a round. But what's going to be revealing the position of Cruz? Aftershock to push him back out of position. Right now, EG just. It is quite tepid, isn't it? They don't want to be taking any of this space onto A. Yeah, I think sure. I think they're concerned it could be a full five-player stack. But as soon as Sushi Boys gets that kill, EG are going to realize, oh, no, the other two players are elsewhere. Yeah. Could still be a bit dangerous, though, especially given the health that Bustio's on. Well, Sushi Boys has just got his ult now. And a rifle in his hands from that kill in mid, so Bustio's going to be quite important. If Bucio falls here, he's on 20 health. Yeah. He needs to be the difference maker, but it's that run and gun in action. And now it's down to that 2v2, ults online. You can notice that EG are playing at the back of the site. They recognize that that is a threat in this round. There's layers to it. No one playing out of position here, but the ult is not even being committed still. It's down to that 1v1. Time running low enough here. A wider play, a wider swing by Sushi Boys. And Jogamo. Intelligent play from him. Sushi Boys needs to stick. This is the percentage play. He's got half. He's sticking it, sticking it all the way through, and the swing is immaculate. Jogamo with the right timing in his head. He knew exactly how to play that. Oh, it's real. They spotted yeah, heads over the top. Another few retakes. What's here. he doing? Oh, Reloading in the middle of the open. Reloading crews. I mean, this is really does feel like a bit of an overheat moment. They've crossed through past his own Viper Orb, satcheling across Jogamo. Everybody's vulnerable up, but will it even matter? Still, the EG players they take the good fights. Watching for these smokes, and that was just all over the place. Bit of spaghetti falling out of the talent pockets. 
Also, BCJ in Narnia yeah. in the post plant. I mean, through the wardrobe talking to the queen. <laughs> Mr. Tumnus up in He's there. in the middle of nowhere. He is definitely in the middle of nowhere. This man's just pulling out references this I can't even comprehend. <laughs> this is how he used to play when he was on Xset though as well. He used to see BCJ and Def go for these crazy long lurks. BG players though just need to play their lives, play it for time if they can. And but no, it's not it's planted. planted for. It's not planted for BCJ. And it's not planted for it. Oh, and the ball. Oh, it's at the top. It's right on the top and it does not disrupt the defuse. So it's all one-dimensional on the attack for EG. Managed to cross all the way up into heaven, and they're just taking straight-up fights. Cross oh, moves forward, showstopper denied, and the fight's been taken. Positioning just swapped and switched around. How can they know where Cruz is? Oh, my they don't. goodness. Boost yeah. the Okor completely unaware. Yeah, just literally trying to, again, take up that space, soak up that avenue to be able to play from. And BCJ again is miles away from the play. Absolutely Com miles is away. so alone. Shows off a play, spotted him at his ankles as he tried to just play around and weave around that smoke, but maybe BCJ could be the difference maker. An angle, a swap and a weapon, a stun and a pull though has completely bogged him down and the nade will finish the job. G committing that lockdown. Does give them a couple of pockets to play in if you are talent, but Cruz realizes there's not really too much space. Wow, that's a lot of util. That's right, a lot of Cruz damage. Is, yeah. Just trying to get out of there. Deals a lot of damage to him, but how does BCJ get caught here? In B main of all places. He's just way out of the way. EG gonna be able to get this plant down. Another fight being taken. And okay, rolling thunder to push them back. Even just using that ultimate offloading it, trying to re reclaim that space towards main. A little bit all over the place, isn't it? Double satchel play and the flash to a company. That is just amazing. The coordination is there. Come, another play from him, re-flanking and repositioning. But now, Stugo being from Cruz. I mean, he just opens himself quite wide. Snake bite at his feet, just in case there is a double satchel play. He's used to this one now, and it was a good response of utility. He also could be quite nice, but beaming them all down right through the smokes, and there will be no more threat of EG just trying to clamor for those kills. Talent dominating the mid fight. Committing a couple of players to it there. But not getting punished in mid, not getting punished anywhere else on the map. Cleaning this up. This was 8 4 at the half. Yeah, there's a cosmic divide being used. Garnet's playing up close here. I mean, that's just so unexpected. And he satchels and evacuates. He's it's well out of there. Well out of there. It's amazing. And they didn't hear the nade being dropped either. So look at the damage it did to common BCJ. Fully softened up. Meanwhile, Foxy's got himself into a good position over an A ramp. Oh boy. Reading that something could be happening. Noise bait as if it's going A, but actually the spike's still going B. So just trying to draw those rotations. That's the name of the game right now for EG. Flash over the top though, and Sushi Boy still watching from heaven. Flick of the wrist, and he finds one more target, and still there's just no time. EG denied it, and another comeback completed. Talon will move forwards. Awesome performance from these guys. The Cinderella story from the Pacific region continues. You can't help but root for them. It feels like the same kind of story that we've seen from this core before.